This week, we have been telling you of tattoo dangers and the risk of contracting a dangerous disease if you aren't careful where you get your ink. Well, tonight, CBS4 investigator Rick Salander follows up on that story. He shows us what is done to protect those who give and receive the artwork on their skin. The body is their canvas, and these are the would-be Picassos of their profession. But beneath the beauty lurks a very real danger. It's called hepatitis. The great concern with hepatitis, particularly hepatitis B, is that it's a bloodborne, and it can take years before you start to see the symptoms of it. The disease is especially perilous to the artists, who don't know their customers. I see your bloodborne. But inspectors pay careful attention to those artists and their salon. Thank you. Inspection reports we obtained show most shops are in full compliance, but some were missing disease prevention certifications. Expired tattoo needles were being used in another. Required spore testing not being done on time at a different location. Each salon was then revisited until the problems were corrected. The fallen owl in Lakewood is one with a very good record. All of our needles come single shot, blister packed, pre-sterilized. Owner Adam Rose gave us a tour to show us what they do. The only reusable parts are the tubes, which are soaked in a cold sterilization, then put into an autoclave before hand scrubbing in a sink. A spore test is then sent to an outside firm to check. Health is a big, big concern. Uh, hepatitis can live on a surface for up to two weeks. Somebody that doesn't understand the cross-contamination process can really easily make somebody sick. There are other concerns in the industry. I just check out some of your eggs. Some... There have been ink recalls and worse in the underground call scratchers, those who are not regulated professional tattoo artists. Jesus Buhanda's business is called Tattoo Emergency 911. He removes tattoos. They've used urine in dyes and inks to make them sterile. They've also used automotive paints to get specific colors. Where to get a tattoo is an important decision. A tattoo may be for life, or maybe not. Rick Salinger, CBS4 News.